So we know you're fighting tomorrow on ESPN2, Friday Night Fights. You're looking very, very slim. What did you do differently in this camp prepared to, you know, your Klitschko camp, your Adamant camp? The main thing, man, was working out. Work, 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 work. That's what I had to do is just work. Um, like I said, you know, I've only missed two, two training days. One because my house almost caught fire. But other than that, man, I've been in the boxing gym and lifting my weights and, you know, eating right. So I'm a, I'm a solid 255 right now. What brought about this change, the different mentality, different attitude? Losing, man. I hate losing to Adamic. You know, losing to Adamic was a fight that I should have never lost, and it's my fault. No, one, no one's fault but mine. I missed too much training for that fight. Too much. Does it haunt you more than the Klitschko loss? Oh, by far, man. You know, Klitschko, you know, my respects go out to him, and I was fully prepared, man. You know, I may have been training for seven weeks, but in those seven weeks, you know, I hardly, I probably missed one day. You know, so I trained, for, I trained hard for that one. He was a better fighter. In this fight, I don't believe the better fighter beat me. But the better, the better trained fighter, the, the more conditioned fighter did beat me, though. Does it get to you a bit that some people are, are saying that this is a must win for Chris Arriola, even if... No, it, it doesn't bug me because it is. It's a must win. It's for me to prove, prove myself not, to, not only to myself, but to all the fighters and, and the fans and to everybody, man. Let's talk about the bling that you have on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little thing I picked up, you know, it's a little toy, you know. But, uh, you know, just something different, man. Just trying something different. Tomorrow night, what are we going to see from you? The old boxer, man. The old fighter that, you know, throws combinations and uh, um, brings the fight to him. And that's my, that's my job. That's, my, that's what I have to do in there. Say tomorrow you get the result, you get the win in impressive fashion, and you had to choose Klitschko or Adamic. Who would you pick to fight? Hands down, easy, easy choice, Adamic. You know, I, yeah, you know what? I, I love, I, I would love to get a title shot, but I, I want to deserve my title shot. And the Adamic fight just haunts me. It pisses me off. Well, thank you, Chris, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you, man. You have a good one, man.